right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rukah, Kadash. Give my honor to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone who will well, peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the Lord's elect. All right, brother, Shai, part of the Minnebago, South Carolina, man, this uh, lesson and transit is going to be, man, um, just a few words on the topic of the week, the hot topic, man, which is uh, them goons over there in, uh, like, uh, <laughs> The Apostle Gabar likes to refer to them as, you know, the goons over there in ISUBK, man. All right. It's like it's a little in inclement weather. Um, you know, so I try to be as safe as I can uh, in the midst of talking. But, yeah, um, Lord's will, of course. But, yeah, uh, got the buffoons over there at the ISUBK teaching adultery, man, and uh, drug use and vengeance. All in one, man, because, you know, uh, if you've been living under a rock, you don't know about the Chris Rock <laughs> and the uh, Will Smith situation, which I believe was staged, you know, because the Academy Award, uh, their ratings have been declining since, like, 2014. So they had to pull a publicity stunt to boost the ratings back up, and that's what they did. Uh, by staging that, you know, uh, that what you call it, man, that, that fake, uh, 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 that, that fake slap or whatever, man. It might have been real, uh, who knows, but it looked cheesy, man. But anyway, uh, then the guy from ISUBK said that he would counsel Chris Rock and tell him that he would get the best drugs you can find, sleep with his wife, which she's a harlot anyway, but that's still his wife pretty much, and, you know, get, uh, extract benches, man, and, um, uh, I'm gonna do a, a lesson with the precepts, but I'm in transit, I just want to say, uh, you know, commentate on it, but, man, you got false prophets, man, that's how you know that we're in the last days, man. You got a so-called teacher of uh, uh, Yasharala of Israel saying that you could, uh, uh, or condoning adultery, condoning drug use, condoning, condoning vengeance, man. And when you read the scriptures, it's against all of those aforementioned things, man. It's against adultery, it's against drug use, it's against vengeance. There's ways to go about if, you're, uh, if things happen, certain things happen to you certain instances, man, including adultery. But adultery is a punishment, uh, 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 you know, uh, it's punishable by death, man. It's punishable by death. And the, the laws still apply. Now, if you commit adultery, you can't just go out and, uh, or some, some, uh, your spouse or whatnot commits adultery, you just can't go out and stone them. It doesn't work like that. All right, the Lord will find a way, but basically it shows the severity of that uh, offense. Because you got certain offenses that's punished by death, certain offenses where you got to pay a dowry, certain offenses you got to pay... Uh, restitution, pretty much, or pay it back double if you steal. It's all type of things, man. All right, but I say all that to say this, man. We're supposed to go by the scriptures and how the scriptures tells us to do things, not by some carnal way, man. And that's carnality at its at its least point. I ain't even gonna say it's fine. That's that's carnality at its least point. Leading the flock astray. And in all that, he's leading the flock astray by saying that or, or, or condoning it. Because you got people that listen to this guy, man. And Israel's coming in at an alarming rate. Uh, uh, you know, coming into this truth at an alarming rate. So you got people, new uh, newbies, or, you know, babes coming in this truth that, that that's hearing the word, okay, that's this word is changing their lives, you know, you know that feeling you get when uh, you start to hear the gospel, the good news, 
all right it's changing their lives and they're learning more and they're at their point at that point to where they have to figure out which road they want to go down i.e uh which uh camps that they want to listen to like the elder boss the bar said um, in his lesson it's all it's up to it's up to that individual at the end of the day but you know it's a it's a grave offense if you lead the flock astray, man. And the only camps that have the truth is the GMS camps. Sorry, with the elders and apostles on down, and then the camps under that banner, which we uh, us men and valor, we fall under that. Man. You know, GMS. Uh, we always say it's just a title, but with that title comes the, a doctrine that's teach, man. That's the doctrine of how about should be always shot. But yeah, man, you got false prophets on the rise, and that's how you know that it's coming down to crunch time. Because, hey, uh, uh, strips to talk about if the Lord puts, uh, if that prophet is deceitful, he, he put that spirit on them to do so, man. He put the spirit on them to do so because Isaiah 69 has to be fulfilled, man. Uh, they should say, Lord, Lord calling Yahweh Shah's name and he say I sure I I have not known that has to be fulfilled so you're gonna have false prophets on the rise and false prophets out here that's gonna lead the people astray and who they are meant to lead astray they're going to lead astray the elect is not gonna be fooled the elect are in the hands of Yahweh Shah and they were given unto the hand of Yahweh shot and no man can pluck them out of his hand because they was given unto Yahweh shot by Yahweh. So the elect see through the bullshit. The elect sees through the 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 the, uh, the games, the uh, the false teaching. Okay, the elect sees through it. Sees that this man is set up. Either he took that Judas purse and is doing that on purpose because this is not the first time. This is not the first time that uh, that guy, uh, I, I forgot his name. It really doesn't matter, but uh, yeah, it's not the first time that he, he's been uh, caught, you know, uh, uh, preaching foolishness, man. Teaching foolishness. Or saying fool foolish things, man. And it's a grave offense in the eyes of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to. Do shit like that, man. You lead the flock astray, man. It'd be better if you would say nothing at all. Like scripture say, it'd be better.